Very whistle test, and it's hard for people to realise there was an age before music wasn't the culture. It was a subculture, very much so, and the BBC wasn't crazy about it. You had to seek out the old very whistle test. It wasn't uh, above ground. It was, it was, you know, sitting there, it was the last programme on television, the last programme on the BBC, and it was very much a counterculture. And I felt so much, uh, so much a kinship with it. I couldn't understand what this little strange place was that groups would go to. When I eventually found it, when I worked here, and I'm just one of the nitwits who lucked out to have a bit of a career and worked here. When I saw it, it was such a workmanlike, mundane place. But, and this is not the place to breastbeat and try and get people across to the TV centre view, but you have to believe that there is something in the bricks, in the culture, in the fabric of somewhere that is, has worth. It really does have worth, because otherwise, as I'm sure who signed off on this deal, you know, the Houses of Parliament makes a great hotel. Why not sell that? They can have the conference centre to do their thing. It has worked. And as an, as, an audience, as an audience member, it had magic. And I don't care if it's London-centric or any of the nonsense they say now. If I go to Florida, there's Disney World, to make a crass example. There's uh, Madison Square Gardens. There's Radio City. There's the BBC. That's where it happens, and that's what's accountable. The fact that, you know, the much maligned, and, and we don't want to get into the whole top of the pops thing now, but the fact that came from here, I don't know, it must mean so much to so many people. Fortunately, we've, we've got tape and we've got the we've got Yeah, but you know yeah. what, again, and I'm not here to, to bang the drum, but you know what they say, it makes financial sense to get rid of this. It made financial sense to get rid of all those tapes in the 60s and 70s as well. We now know what a blunder that was. Yeah. And I, I seem to have hijacked the show to be question time. But... <laughs> David, David, what this amazing building 